Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, today I want to show you a small variation for um, those who play Rui Lopez with white. Um, I started playing Rui Lopez recently. Um, before that, I mainly played uh, the scotch and uh, tried some uh, Joko piano as well for white. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, the scotch is uh, really great. I tried to play Joko piano, but um, I'm, I, I don't think I have a good understanding for it. Um, and uh, when I was a kid, I played uh, Rui Lopez all the time. And I thought that maybe it's um, kind of boring, um, a boring opening, but um, since I restarted playing it, I had a lot of exciting games. And I think um, generally it has. Um, it's uh, very good to play this um, this thing. Um, what uh, what is difficult is that it's huge. Yeah, this uh, it's so many nuances that uh, I cannot even describe. In I don't have words. Yeah, how many. Uh, different ideas and different uh, approaches has black and white has like millions of responses for everything but uh, I'm doing it step by step and um, I just want to uh, a little bit um, to learn something and maybe it will kick in at some point so um, one of the main lines uh, which I face a lot by strong players. For me, strong player is like uh, 2350 on Lee Chess. It's like about um, uh, Fida Master or uh, like weak I am as well. Um, so, what do they do here? They play e5, a6, knight f6. So, uh, castles b5 bishop b3 and bishop c5 so um, this is the position um, which uh, resembles this modern ar archangel uh, variation so Arkhangelsk is a city in Russia uh, on the north and uh, <clears throat> so probably there was some uh, chess player from there uh, this variation has been played a lot by Fabiano Caruana with black, and he is basically leading authority on this. Uh, also, Magnus Carlsen played this uh, with black, so very good move, this bishop c5. Uh, many players play here something like d, uh, <clears throat> um, d6, or um, there is this uh, bishop e7 as well uh, heading for the martial uh, gambit which is a good move but the, now we look at this bishop c5 so um, mm, when I uh, didn't know how to play here I played something like uh, c3 d6 d d4 bishop b uh, bishop b6 knight b to d2 so uh, in this position i already had problems because uh, uh, even though the position is still okay for white but uh, white want to play bishop to g4 and the idea of these two pieces is to attack the d4, the d4 square uh, well, when you play Rui Lopez, you really know this setup. Uh, you playing like Rook e1, Bishop uh, Knight to d2, Knight f1, yeah. But uh, when you play against a stronger position, they will not let you play this Bishop uh, Knight to d2. I'm sorry, because it will interfere with the defense of the d4 square, and um, that's a, a problem. Um, so uh, I got uh, in problems after playing knight to d2 and already <clears throat> black is a little bit better. So the right move, because I didn't know what to do here, 
and uh, so let's take move back um, so this is the position of uh, the urge, uh, archangel variation and uh, the move I'm offering is a4 so this is the main line all right uh, um, black is um, a little bit um, white already castled black hasn't castled and uh, it if we play c3 then we are not uh, actually uh, in time to uh, <clears throat> to counterattack in the center yeah we play the standard but black will manage to play castles so in this position the right move is to play a4 so we immediately threaten to take on b5 because this rook is pinned and there are uh, uh, two main moves here, maybe three. Bishop b7, which is the least popular. b4 and uh, <clears throat> rook to b8. So let's start with uh, b4 move. Uh, here is a very nice trick and I think it's very easy to play. So take on e5. Um, black has to take and uh, white plays d4 um, with uh, attack of two pieces so white wins a, a piece back so uh, if uh, black plays uh, bishop d6 it's a big mistake because after this they will lose another piece so it's not possible to play like this and uh, so uh, normally black will take take and this position i think uh, white has a very big advantage yeah because they have two bishops uh, they have very nice structure uh, black doesn't have a pawn in the center but it's actually a grand a lot of grandmaster games here i think that uh, white is uh, okay so let's uh, so b4 after b4 we play uh, knight takes e5 so if uh, in this position uh, uh, black decides to defend the a8 uh, rook and they play um, bishop to b7 which is a very standard maneuver uh, i suggest to play uh, something like d3 just calmly developing um, and we don't have um, this um, pawn uh, on d4 so again uh, black is setting up uh, and they are waiting for us to play c3 and d4 so they can um, attack with all their pieces the d4 square but when we are just not going right uh, not doing what they want us to do so we play very modest d3 and uh, h6 so this is a game of Fabiano Caruana against Ivan Sokolov and I'll show you some games knight to c3 very nice move and knight to d5 uh, so uh, again this uh, square we are leaving free uh, our bishop on b3 is very nicely placed and we uh, ready to exchange this um, this knight so d6 a5 castles and bishop e3 so uh, this position is uh, a little bit better for white and uh, let's go to main line uh, it is uh, rook to b8 um, uh, defending the b5 and uh, removing uh, <clears throat> rook from this uh, pin uh, c3 um, this is the ancient move um, d6 uh, d4 takes a and a5 um, it's at this point we don't want to take but uh, also engine s suggests that takes maybe a good move so uh, a5 
and in this position um, if there is a small trap if black takes on a5 there is very nice uh, exchange sacrifice takes takes uh, and um, so uh, uh, if pawn takes then this is winning for white yeah because this pawn is hanging and this is hanging this is totally winning so uh black has to do something else take on e4 then queen to d5 winning uh, so let's continue the variation takes takes and knight to d4 so probably uh there will be a very unpleasant discovery also c6 is hanging with a huge uh, fork on all these pieces so uh all right um just a small recap uh, in the end yeah that when we see this move uh, bishop to c5 so this is called a modern air change of variation and we play a4 uh the idea is to attack the b5 square immediately and depending on what black does uh, to play either c3 or play knight to this plan nice d3 and nice c3 it's wrong to play in this position uh, i think uh, c3 and d4 because that's what black wants yeah they want to uh, attack the center and if we start moving pawns quick, uh, then black will achieve what they want us to do. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time.